Hello again, guys. <laughs> Spirit is giving me a lot of messages lately. Uh, not surprising, given the energy that we're in. So I did get another channeling after this morning. Uh, I went to the gym, went to get some groceries, and on my way home, they gave me some lyrics. Uh, oh God, what's the name of that song again? Um, Setting the World on Fire by Kenny Chesney featuring uh, Pink. I love that song. A huge Kenny Chesney fan. Anyway, neither here nor there. So I thought that was a really interesting channeling, and I really feel like it pertains more so to the chorus, like first and foremost, the chorus. Can this apply to uh, soulmates, counterparts, etc.? I feel like this actually applies to um, anyone who's ascended or ascending, anyone who's waking up, okay? Doesn't always have to apply to counterparts. I really feel like this is really for people who are ascending, ascended, um, and who are going to be part of the new earth. And I do feel like it is connected to the channeling that I had um, early this morning, the one that I already posted, the one that uh, says the anvil and the hammer. Actually, you know what? I'll probably link them together just so you guys don't have to wonder or try to have to find it, okay? So for those who don't know that song, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to put a link for the song below as well for those who want to listen to it or even watch the music video. Um, there are some lines in the chorus that really pertain to kind of what's going on right now. Um, we were up all night, got a little higher than we probably should, uh, lighting the matches till, oh shit. I'm gonna butcher the lyrics. Okay, I'm not gonna try to like reiterate the lyrics. Go ahead and look at the lyrics yourself. But I know exactly what Spirit was trying to say with that. Um, and then setting the world on fire, okay? This is about raising the vibration of the earth. This is about people who are doing healing work in the 5D and definitely pertains to counterparts who are also doing a lot of um, interacting with each other in the dream space, interacting with each other in different dimensions. So there are some light workers. Um, there are some people who have ascended. There are some counterparts that actually can go beyond the 5D to the other dimensions. There's a lot of dimensions, guys. <laughs> There's actually a lot of dimensions. Um, I know of at least up to like 18, I want to say, 18. Um, but, you know, it's not exactly easy to get to those dimensions. So anyway, don't worry yourself about that. But that's just what this message message was getting at. It was basically that reminder of like, hey, when, you, when you're sleeping, say sleeping, right? When you're sleeping, you're doing a hell of a lot of work, okay? Some of you are astraling. Some of you, like I said, are going into the dream space, helping people, healing people. Some of you are even doing that just astral. Astral can happen in the four-dimensional space. And others of you are going beyond that to other dimensions to do this kind of work. And as we ascend and as we wake up, we will be raising the vibration of the earth. And it's interesting because as I was watching the music video, cause that's the thing, I love music, but I never really watch music video. So this was the first time I've ever seen the music video. There was a shot of the city towards the end where it's like, it looked like lights were coming up out of the earth. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> it's like, yes, that's exactly what it is. Um, really really awesome song and like i said i really feel like it's more about the chorus than the entire song itself for my counterparts i do feel like this is pertaining to what the journey is like what the journey is like and what really transpires on the journey especially when you're working with your counterparts energy um in raising the vibration of the earth especially as you guys are doing more work together in the dream space in the astral and in other dimensions a lot of you i think are doing a lot of shit in the astral and um, other dimensions right now i think a lot of you are um whether you're aware of that or not some of you are really aware some of you are really really aware of that others you're just kind of recognizing that it all depends on where you are in your journey we're all in a different spot in our journey guys so just just know that okay just know that so I'm going to pull cards, but I can't imagine we're going to get a hell of a lot. But something's telling me to just do it and see what we get. Um, and keep in mind, guys, this is me pulling cards on the message that I received, okay? So just take it as it resonates. I'm going to use spellcasters as the primary before I get into any clarifiers, okay? But yeah, definitely look at that song. Watch that video. Also, you know, it's so funny because it is a song about Los Angeles, right? I'm personally, I'm born and raised in Los Angeles. Still live in Los Angeles. Um... And I just couldn't get away from that idea of City of Angels, right? City of Angels and City of Stars, right? Because we have Hollywood, all that stuff. Um, and that those words, angels, stars, it just reminds me of light workers. It honestly does. It reminds me of light workers, ascended beings, ascended individuals. And I'm just like, the messages that are coming across from spirit lately are just so intense and so clear and definitely 
for the collect for the collective to be aware of okay and like i said guys even if you're not in a counterpart situation and you're waking up and ascending, this message can still apply to you. It's about being aware of what's going on. Okay, that's why I'm getting these messages. It's because spirit wants us to be aware. It's not like they want us to anticipate every single thing that's going to happen. They just want us to stay alert and stay aware. That's the main reason behind any message. It's like, hey, pay attention. <laughs> Make sure you're on point, you know? That's all, that's all that really is behind that. But anyway, let's go ahead and see what we get here. Any messages behind that message you gave me, Spirit? We were flying so high, feeling so damn good. Got a little higher than we probably should. I like they See how they keep giving me the lyrics over and over and over? Um, and that higher, like, I just made me think of the dimensions. Honestly, it really did. It just made me think of the dimensions and ascending. Um, but let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Any messages? For the collective regarding this message it sounds so weird saying it that way but that is the proper way to word this intention anything you want okay there you go anything you want the collective to know spirit anything oh my oh i love this oh spirit thank you four of pentacles capricorn energy and five of cups in reverse scorpionic energy not letting go of hope this is not letting go of hope i like that i like that not letting go of hope. I'm just so drawn to the waterfalls in this imagery. The waterfalls like it right there. Not letting go of hope. Marked. I just got marked. What is that? Marked. Oh, okay, guys. What I'm about to say is going to leave some of you confused, but those who already know about galactic stuff, um, you're already very well aware of this, okay? And definitely, uh, there are a lot of counterparts who've already been on their journey for quite a while who are aware of this. But like I said, for some people, it's just a realm they haven't dived into yet, okay? So just, like I said, take things as they resonate. Marked, I'm getting light codes with that, actually. Light codes. Being marked with light codes. Uh, I had a session with Adriana, like, oh lord, when was this? Was this Sedona? I know Adriana's gonna watch this. Hi, Adriana, we need to talk soon. Um, I wanna say it was after Sedona, like maybe a month or so after Sedona. <clears throat> and, um, you know, when I do sessions with her, I, I get a lot of light codes just because of my particular journey. Um, but there was one time where I had an activation code received for me and it was essentially kind of like a brand. Like it was a little bit like a, like a branding code and being marked with that um, in order to continue my activation. But that's something that's very common for people who are into that realm or people who are very familiar with light codes. Um, there are different tribes so to speak when it comes to light codes where you know you belong to a certain group a certain tribe of the same code the same frequency the same kind of mission okay um and that's coming across here for for a lot of you i think other okay that's why they want me to talk about this because for some of you this is going to be something you're going into something you're going to be coming to an understanding of okay something that you haven't really dived into before i definitely recommend starting to research some of it if it's really resonating with you and calling you like with, with what I'm saying about light codes and galactic the galactic realm of things okay by all means start doing your research ten of pentacles in reverse virgo energy just came out okay okay achieving the ten of pentacles that's why it's in reverse I'm trying to achieve it trying to achieve it Ma maintaining hope in that it's possible maintaining hope that it's possible to get to a ten of pentacles vibration a ten of pentacles way of existing whether that's just creating the um I heard the family. That's interesting. The family. Maybe just creating the family you've always wanted, the home situation you've always wanted, and also attaining your blessings. Birthright. Whoa. Birthright. Holding on to hope that you will have your birthright. Even if you feel like it's out of reach, there's a sense of, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay hopeful. I'm going to stay hopeful. I'm going to stay positive. I like that. I really like that energy. See what else we got out here? Anything else you want the collective to know, Spirit? A lot of this dream space work um, that the counterparts are doing, or even other people who are starting to wake up and realizing, oh shit, there's a hell of a lot more going on than what I was attuned to before. <clears throat> Excuse me. That 
experience those experiences are really keeping hope alive okay they're very crucial right now they're telling me it's very vital to pay attention to anything going on in the dream space the astral or other dimensions for you okay hold on to that stuff guys it's helping right now any other messages ah three of cups oh, i love that cancerian energy celebration i'm actually just getting celebration congratulations rejoice those are the words that just came to me Congratulations, celebration, and rejoice. I love that. I freaking love that. Um, for counterparts, I do feel like this is about holding on to hope um, to get to that finish line, to get those blessings, and to come together. I definitely feel that way. I definitely feel that way. Overall energy, oh, look at this. Hermit in reverse. Virgo energy, enlightenment. Enlightenment, ascensions, awakenings. Lord, we're going to be talking a lot about this, aren't we? <laughs> Oh man, guys, I freaking love this energy. So let's go over this a little bit. So there's this holding on to hope. And like I said, I really feel like everything going on in the dream space, the astral, other dimensions is a big part of that, a big part of that really instilling hope within us. Um, and you know, it's interesting, like, I would say the last week or so, or more than, where are we? Today's the 21st, right? Today's the 21st. I would say like a little bit before the full moon. So that was like the 15th. It's like, a, you know, maybe like the 13th for me. So 13th up until now, um, I've actually really pushed out my counterpart's energy. Keep in mind, like I said, this can apply to people who are not in a counterpart situation or who are not, or are not aware that they're in a counterpart situation yet who haven't met their counterparts. Because like I said in the other video, that new wave is coming in, right? That's why this wave needs to wrap it up. <laughs> Come on now, hurry up. Um, I have been pushing my masculine's energy out uh, just so I can really still focus on me and the inner work that I still need to do and stay focused on my mission, especially because we've been in separation for a while, a little while, not too long. Um, and it's interesting because now when I'm going into the 5D, other dimensions, the astral, it's like he is really there, like trying really hard to like hit home on like what's going on with him, which he's never really done before, like with relaying to me what's going on with him. That is a little new for me personally in my journey. And some of you might be experiencing that. And I think that is in a way like him trying to hold on to hope for this, which I don't think is a bad thing. I'm very hopeful. I'm just taking a day at a time. And guys, who you know, if you're in that situation where there's separation going on, just focus on you. Whatever's going to happen is going to happen. Whatever's meant to happen is meant to happen. I, it's like I just surrendered to the ether as most of us really should because at the end of the day, all you can really do is work on yourself and control yourself and what's going on with you, right? But it's interesting that once I've pushed his energy out, now he's trying really hard to sit, like communicate with me a lot more and be more upfront and honest with what's going on with him. So it's really interesting, right? But anyway, there is a lot of holding on to hope because of the dream space. So let's go ahead and look at the four pentacles. I'm gonna use right away for this. So I'm at the four of pentacles. Four of Pentacles, and for those where you're just like chasing down your dream, <laughs> your your birthrights, the birthright came in really strong. Your birthright, your blessings, uh, things that you feel that you really deserve, your end game, your end goal. Your don't hold on, don't lose hope, don't lose hope here, okay? And you are getting messages in the dream space, the five D, other dimensions, the astral. You are getting messages. Pay attention to them. Pay attention to them. So I'm about Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Talking about Four of Pentacles. Let's see here. Wow. Six of Swords in reverse, Aquarian energy, and the world fixed energy. Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn, which rules Capricorn. Not losing hope on what's to come, on the new that's to come, the new chapter, the new path, on getting out of a time that's a very a little difficult on getting out of a time that's a little difficult, a little stressful, right? Because it's like Ten of Pentacles in a verse. Some of you are really feeling like, damn, it feels so far out of my reach, but I'm not going to lose hope. I'm not going to lose hope. I'm going to stay positive. And the more you do that, the closer you're going to get to getting out of this stressful time or getting out of this time of confusion for some of you, okay? So let's keep it going. Do I have the Four of Pentacles? Don't lose hope, guys. Don't give up. Don't give up. Oh, see, Eight of Swords. Yeah, some of you guys are feeling a little trapped here and a little confined. It, Gemini energy. You're just feeling that way because you feel like it's out of your reach, but I'm telling you, do not lose hope. 
Do not. That world card is here, man. It's right there. Just keep holding on to hope. Keep holding on to faith and whatever it is you want. Don't let it make you crazy. I mean, don't let it, don't let it put you in this state of like, oh my God, it's ever gonna happen. I can't see the way out. No, no, no. Don't let it, don't, don't, don't let that happen. Um, just keep your positive energy about you. That's how you do that. That's how you stay away from the stress of it. That's how you keep the faith without faith without over obsessing, okay, on what you don't have. It's about staying in a positive vibration, optimistic mindset. Even if you got to do a little mantra every morning or do a little meditation or just talk to yourself every morning, like, and manifest it, right? Like, I have, insert your version of Ten of Pentacles, <laughs> right? Speak as if you already have it. Act as if you already have it. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. But don't make yourself crazy. Don't make yourself crazy. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. Wow. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. Oh. This is taking a little sad turn. Ace of Cups in reverse and the Two of Swords, Moon and Libra energy. I feel like this energy is pertaining to someone who feels like they've lost their chance at love. Who feels like they've possibly lost their chance at a counterpart. Okay. Also feeling like this is an energy of someone maybe realizing they don't love themselves that much, that they need to have more self-love and the two of swords, it's like, don't really know what to do about it. A lot of overthinking. I see, give me this energy of overthinking. Stop overthinking. <laughs> um, and like I said, the way that you stop overthinking is by surrendering to the ether and manifesting what you want by instilling yourself with that kind of energy of what you are already wanting to achieve. Like with optimism, with just telling yourself you love yourself. Have a mantra every morning. Sit with yourself. Meditate with yourself. Meditate with yourself. <laughs> meditate with your guides, actually. Meditate with your guides. Um, yeah, just take that time by yourself to instill more positive, optimistic energy within you and just surrender. And it's like, whatever's going to happen is going to happen. But this is what I am. This is what I have. And that's just the end of it. And that is how you manifest that, right? And not putting yourself here and how am I going to make it happen? No, no, no. Take yourself out of that. Take yourself out of that. Act like you already have it. Act like you already have it. Say you already have it. Put that out into the ether. But for some of you, this is basically someone who feels like they lost a chance with you. You could be feeling like you lost a chance with someone. And, this is, and for others, this is an energy of like, damn, I need more self-love. Damn, I need to start loving on myself more if I want to have healthy relationships or if I want to truly get to a Ten of Pentacles energy, right? Overall, Page of Cups. Page of Cups. Underneath that, we got Page of Swords in reverse. So yeah, I really feel like this is someone who's like, who feels a little trapped, a little confined, trying to hold on to hope in a healthy way because they feel like they have lost the love of somebody. And with the Page of Swords in reverse, I feel like there's no communication about it, not talking about it, not sharing this. But with Page of Cups coming out right before that, it's like, okay, I can talk now. Okay, I can talk about this. Okay, I, I just, I, I need to communicate this. I need to get this out. I, I, I don't want to miss this chance with this person. And again, this is also about having that self-love, right? Someone who's been in a little bit of an illusion about that or not admitting to themselves that maybe I don't value myself. Maybe I don't love myself. Maybe I think I am a little worthless. And Page of Cups, trying to give that love back to yourself, right? For some of you, this is coinciding where someone needs to give themselves love in order to approach someone that they're afraid they've lost love with. Okay, take that as it resonates. Now we have this Ten of Pentacles in reverse and the Three of Cups. I don't want to look at the Ten of Pentacles in reverse because Ten of Pentacles is going to be very different for everybody. It's your personal Ten of, Ten of, did I say Ten of Cups? It's your personal Ten of Pentacles, okay? Whatever your dream is, whatever your end game is, whatever is going to make you happy and secure in the long run, whatever you feel your birthright is, whatever you feel your blessings are. But let's go to the rejoice. Let's go to the rejoice here, all right? Uh, let's use Gilded. Yeah, let's use Gilded here. I got three of cups. That dream space keeps coming back up, guys. They keep bringing my attention back to that. Pay close attention. Pay close attention. Tell me about three of cups. Tell me about three of cups. Tell me about three of cups. I also feel like a lot of this dream space work, specifically those where you have a counterpart that you're working with or meeting up with a lot in the astral, 
5D, other dimensions, dream space, what have you, whatever space you're meeting up with them in a metaphysical sense, I feel like it is helping one of the counterparts realize they don't have enough love for themselves and that they haven't been admitting that and that they also have, um, are, have been very fearful of, of, of really going into a loving situation to the point where, damn, now I think I might have missed my chance with my counterpart. It's helping them. Yeah, it's helping that counterpart maintain hope and to do what they have to do, come to terms with what they have to do for themselves, for the connection. Time up the Three of Cups. 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 Tell me about the Three of Cups. <laughs> the damn Eight of Swords again. It's like the plague lately. Gemini energy. Again, that confinement, right? That fear. That fear of loving oneself, of accepting that, damn, I don't love myself. I need to start loving on myself. That fear of, oh my God, did I miss my chance with my counterpart? Did I miss my chance at love for those who are not in a counterpart situation? Um... Yeah, I like it's all about that fear. It's all about that fear. Tell me about three of cups. Tell me about three of cups. But again, I keep okay, they're drawing me back to the dream space again. It's almost like this is the 3D of what's going on with this person. But in the dream space, it's like they don't have this fear. Yeah, I mean that's what that's what it is. That's what it is. That's why they're they're maintaining hope here. Because in the dream space, this fear is not really there. And whatever counterpart they're coming across, or even other people they're coming across, or messages that they're getting in the dream space, astral, 5D, what have you, it's helping them to remind them like, hey, hey, wake up, get, get rid of this fear, you don't need to have this fear, you have value, you have worth, you have to recognize that, you got to start loving on yourself more, and, if, and for those in that scenario where it's like, you don't want to lose that person, start loving yourself to love them appropriately or just let your fear go and surrender this to the ether to allow this to come forward. Wow. Tell me about the three of cups. Tell me about the three of cups. Oh, okay. Let's see what we have here. Oh, <laughs> okay. We've got four of cups, Cancerian energy. Ace of Swords, Ten of Wands, Sag energy, and the Fool. Aries energy could also be Aquarius because it's a Uranus card. And then we have the Knight of Cups, Piscean energy. I love this spread, guys. This is air and water energy as well. So this Four of Cups of like not really knowing what to do, not really being happy with the options at hand, not really knowing what to make of the options at hand. Wait, am I seeing some shit? Oh, <laughs> I thought I was seeing double for a second. I thought I saw a cup behind... Okay, is that just me? Are you guys seeing another cup here? Or is that just me? Almost like here's a two of cups. Here's a connection. Here's an amazing love. Why am I feeling that way? I really feel like whoever is in this state of like restriction and fear, needing to love themselves, to not lose a connection, terrified they've lost a connection, all of that energy. I feel like they were handed this and they just were like, mm. <laughs> like they just went, ah don't come close to me with that <laughs> I don't know if I can do that that's kind of how this is feeling yeah someone's afraid that they waited too long someone's afraid that it's just like oh someone's also afraid of rejection thank you someone's also afraid of rejection here but with that ace of swords the ten of wands the fool and the knight of cups this is burdensome truth and when I say burdensome truth someone's realizing that it's like I can't stop seeing that two of cups in that hand that's making me crazy that is so insane I know it's not there but now I, I can't stop seeing it I can't stop seeing it. Someone knows they were just gifted a possible amazing connection here and that they, they're they being too restricted to take it. Like they're so afraid to take it, so afraid to touch it. And that's the burdensome truth that it's like, oh, that was a gift. And I was just too afraid. I was too afraid because I didn't love myself. I didn't feel like I was worthy. So I pushed it away. Or I just felt like I couldn't take it, too afraid to jump into it. Shit, now I might be losing it. Now I might be losing it. But again, this dream space energy, Ace of Swords could also be intuition, indicative of the dream space. Um, 
getting the truth. For, thank you. Thank you, spirit. Getting the truth, getting messages from the dream space, the astral, the other dimensions to the point where it's like, okay, I see it now. That is the truth. It's me. I need to love on myself. If I don't want to lose this connection, I need to love on myself to love this other person. I need to be honest. I need to be honest with myself. I need to be honest with them. And I need to show that love. I need to show that love. That is a burdensome truth because it's a realization. Then we get this full of the Knight of Cups, taking a risk in love. I love this. Leading to rejoice, celebration, congratulations. I love that. Taking that leap of faith towards love. Oh, man. Okay. All right. Let's see what other cards we get out here. Tell me more about the Three of Cups. Oh, hell yeah. Tell me more about the Three of Cups. Tell me more about the Three of Cups. Tell me more about the Three of Cups. Some of you guys are spending so much time with your counterparts in the dream space, astral, what have you, that it's like you wake up and you're exhausted because you're not really resting. Tell me about Three of Cups. White wine. Why did I just get white wine? That's weird. I don't know why white wine's coming to me. Oh, shit. I just saw a beetle. A big, fat beetle. Big, big, fat beetle. Okay, that was definitely a sign. Um, <laughs> he was huge. He was huge. And it's like, he was far. So he was probably like, like that. Oh, maybe it was a June bug, now that I think about it. It is still summer. Maybe it was just a June bug. But that's very auspicious. Beetles are very auspicious energy, very lucky energy. Um, very uh, fertile energy, like manifestation energy as well. That was definitely a sign. Damn it, that actually distracted me. Where was I? Oh yeah, the white wine thing. I, I don't know why that's coming up. Maybe some of you guys are wine connoisseurs or maybe, oh, they're, they told me it was something in the dream space. Something that you experienced in the dream space with like white wine? I don't know. That's gotta be for like one or two of you. All right, so I only got one other card out here for the Three of Cups and it's the Nine of Pentacles. Oh yeah, Virgo energy. My pre-empress card, essentially my single empress, my single divine feminines, um, my single, my singles, my single singles, people who are very independent, very confident, got a lot of their own abundance, very, very, very secure in life at this moment. Someone is taking a leap of faith towards love because they know the truth now. They know the, the burdensome truth now through intuition, through dreams, through the astral, through the other dimensions. Hold on. The truth that... They were, i seen seeing that two of cups again in that hand. I'm seeing it. <laughs> that they were basically gifted with an amazing connection with love. They were gifted with love and they were just too afraid to take it because they didn't feel worthy. They didn't feel like they didn't love themselves. They don't love themselves. They don't love themselves. They didn't feel worthy. They were lying to themselves about that. And now they know they have to give themselves love in order to give this person love. <coughs> oh shit, where's my water? Hold on a second, guys. <clears throat> Mm. Okay. Oh no! Oh no! I'm sorry. My bad. You guys okay? I know. For those with headphones, I greatly apologize. Greatly apologize for that. Okay. An overall energy for the Three of Cups. The Queen of Pentacles! Capricorn energy could also be Earth or water. Perfect spouse, perfect wifey, perfect hubby. The multitasking queen, the queen that does it all. Okay, the queen that does it all underneath that. Two of wands in reverse, Aries energy, a decision's been made. It's literally making that decision to go forward in a risk for love because someone has finally gotten the message, the burdensome truth, the burdensome truth here through the dream space, through the astral, through intuition, through the other dimensions, that shit. The only reason I didn't accept this is because I was trapped in fear. I was trapped in fear because I didn't love myself. I didn't feel worthy of this person. I didn't feel worthy of this connection. This Look at that. I'm still seeing those two cups. The, the two of cups that was being handed to me. I was just afraid because I didn't feel like I deserved it. And now that I've waited so long in this passive four of cups, fearful, passive eight of swords energy that I might be missing my chance and I can't keep lying to myself. I gotta be honest with myself. I gotta start loving on myself to love this person. Wow. Wow. I love that. I freaking love that. 
Uh, I don't feel the need to pull any Oracle cards. Should I? I don't think any advice is needed here. All right, you know what? Okay, I did kind of retire Romance Angels from YouTube, but I'll bring it back for this one. I think I brought it back recently for another one too. Um, just any other messages? Spirit, any messages for the spread? Any additional messages or anything else to relay to the collective here, whoever's resonating with this? They're giving me the lyrics again. Just the chorus, too. It's just the chorus they're giving me. So I'm going to put that in the notes, too, that, like, hey, pay attention to the chorus. Mostly the chorus. Flying so high. Fl flying so high, astrally. Feeling so damn good. Got a little higher than we probably should. Setting the world on fire. Wow. This is deep, guys. This is really deep. Some of you guys are actually doing active healing work together in the dream space, um, in the astral and what have you. Some of you guys are actively doing that, even though you're in separation. I just heard, what? <laughs> yeah, sorry, it's just the message I'm getting. That's for some of you, not all of you. Any other messages, Spirit, regarding this spread? Okay, that feels good. Any other messages, Spirit, regarding this spread? Got two that flew out here. Oh, what did it say? Love yourself first. Self-love. And it's a safe space for you to, oh, it's safe for you to love. That's funny, I said safe space. Uh, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. It's basically the lesson that this person has to learn, whether this is you or your counterpart or you or someone that you're connected with. Because like I said, this doesn't have to just be counterparts, guys. It doesn't have to just be counterparts, okay? It can apply to anyone who's ascending, awakening, someone who hasn't met their counterpart yet in the 3D. Because like I said, we have the new wave coming. Well, this wave, got to wrap it up, right? Um, but this is the recognition of, damn, I got to love myself first. I got to value myself first and know that I'm worthy of this connection, to know that I'm worthy of a really healthy love. For some, a divine love at that. And it's safe for you to love, like, it's that's quite, it, quite literally what it means. It's okay to be honest, right? It's okay to be honest with yourself about how you love yourself, how you value yourself, and it's okay to be honest about how you love this person. Wow, wow, Spirit. I got other messages. I got, I got other signs. I got to do today. I, I was telling Spirit that I was like, I have a lot of videos. I got to get out today. With all these special messages. Any other messages regarding this spread? Any other messages regarding this spread? Oh, that's it on the bottom. Oh, look at that healing. Yeah, healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. A lot of this lack of self love could have come from childhood. That's where you, where it's where it usually comes from, right? <laughs> childhood, society. Um, I just heard critical, critical. So like maybe an overly critical household, overly critical family. I'm hearing judgmental as well. Ooh, selfish narcissist. Selfish narcissist just came in really strong. Okay, take all those words as it resonates for, for this person, whether this is you or someone that you're connecting with. Because, um, yeah, the, all of that's going to apply to different people. All that's going to uh, 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 Toxic, I just heard toxic. Yeah, this is all about just being in really unhealthy, stifling, to yeah, toxic, narcissistic, selfish. What was, the other, what was the other words? Damn it, they already escaped me. Well, you already, you already heard all the other words I said, but basically healing the issues that led to this lack of self-love, that led to this lack of self-worth in the first place. Wow, beautiful. All right, guys, I gotta go shower. Can't believe it's, oh my God, 1144. It's 1144. I was like, oh, what time is it? Ah. Anyway, I gotta go shower and then actually get my other my video started that I wanted to do today and I'm already behind schedule because I had these two special messages but clearly these messages had to get out so I hope you guys found that insightful and helpful don't forget to go on patreon check that out along with instagram facebook and twitter and I will see you guys later bye guys have a good day